So here I am, I'm Lieutenant Bilidu, I'm the third platoon leader. Awful excited about the opportunities that we have here. Guard's been great to us. I've been a platoon leader for about 15 minutes and it's been really, really good. Uh, I think all the soldiers are great. They're all motivated, they're ready to go, excited to be here. I think this is gonna be a great year. So yeah, I fucking showed up today. We're all fucking ready to go. Gonna do some high speed fucking training. Man, this fucking day is just dragging by. We're just fucking standing around, not doing fucking shit. People are bitching already about how fucking this is boring and we're not getting the platoons to the fucking training. Man, fucking chow suck. We got a fucking hot dog that some people have only got one. We got a little scoop of fucking mac and cheese. Yay! And some fucking salad. Now I'm ready to go do more fucking training and then do some more training tomorrow, which I don't fucking know what we're doing. And then Sunday we're going to do a PT test. Woohoo! On four hours of freaking sleep. Here we go. Another fun day at drill. Pretty much come up with my own plan of action on this. And I mean, that's fine. That's what we're supposed to do. You know, be... You know, be... Uh, is that word I'm looking for? Self-sufficient, but, uh, but at the same time, it would have been nice to have some of that communication, know what we're doing. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. If you, can't, uh, if you can't know what's going on, then, then why, why even bother? Why bother doing anything? I mean, but we're, uh, but we're going we're gonna to work on this. We're going to get better at it. So, and uh, I know we're going to be ready to go when the time comes. So... Yeah. <laughs> Straight face. <laughs> Kill! <sighs> I'm just really upset right now because just lost a really intense um, three on three basketball game. Still wearing my long johns. I've got swamp ass. It's been a really long day. And just want to shower and now I'm doing this interview and <clears throat> um tomorrow's gonna be another long day of training. We got more classes and hopefully that Breakfast chow is good. So uh, when I first joined the unit, things were pretty good. Um, I met this little guy, uh, Gomes. He's kind of a short little prick, actually. Um, always calling me fat and stuff. He's kind of like a hobbit. I tell him he should follow the Elbrick Road back to the fucking Lollipop Guild, wherever he's from. But uh, it's kind of cute. I can hold my hands out. He punches me, but they always fall short by like two feet. So it's actually pretty good. I'll tell you what. Thank God this camera's here. Man, I'm in the fucking guard, okay? I got these people out here. Hey, I'm being called fucking Frodo, which I don't like. Yeah, I'm 4'11", big fucking deal, you know? This is fucking Gigantor guy, okay? He's not fucking, he's tall and he's fat, okay? I'm not gonna say, I'm gonna say his name. His name's fucking DeLuca, okay? He calls me Frodo one more time. He's gonna, he's gonna get ass kicked. If he calls me a fucking midget one more time, he's gonna get his ass kicked. And I'll tell you what, if he says I work in the fucking North Pole again, he's getting his fucking ass kicked. Not to mention, there's this other guy here, okay? You know, he fucking walks around like he's all big and bad. I'll tell you what, I take this fucking shirt off, buddy. It's over, okay? He's got big muscles, big fucking deal, okay? I'm taller than him. He walks over by my fucking place like he's some badass kind of guy, okay? And I'm fucking sick of this stupid, stupid laugh. He fucking sings. He's horrible. His fucking name's Jordan, and he's a dick. Okay, pretty much what I'm getting down to. Somebody's going to get fucking hurt. So what do I think? It's pretty vague. I mean, we got the LT who fucking thinks that everything's just okey fucking dokey. And I'll tell you what right now. From a Joe's perspective, I'm a star. I see everything up and down and in between. It's not... We're going over fucking seas, and I'm telling you, about half of us are going to fucking die. And where do I start, you know? Shit. Fucking thinking about the way things are. You know, you got, let me see here. You got the training schedule first off. Let's talk about that. You know, this morning, this pissed me off for a while. 
Uh, they say 0-4-3, you're going to get the fuck up. 0-5, you got to fucking weigh in tape. Z you know, 0-6, child, blah, blah, blah. Wrong answer, dude. It was 0-5 we woke up or some shit like that. I don't know. And now Chow's at 0 6 30. I don't know. Train's gonna get pushed off a little bit later. Fuck it, dude. I don't know. We'll play a game, god damn it, you know. I, whatever. Fuck it. I don't even know my asshole from my elbow anymore. Really? Why am I still doing this? I ain't gonna go Johnny Mac, you're fucking it up. Right, dude. So we got together, I came down here from Lewiston a couple of years ago. Things were right on high. Things were going good. We've had some good times, we've had some bad times. Last year or so, things have gotten pretty low. Things have gotten real low around here. Almost depressing. Then they come in and they take our name away from us. A lot of guys thinking of leaving, thinking of making things go bad. And you know what? You can beat us down, but you can't take us out. We're going to come back out. We're going to come out of the fires. We're going to fight back. You know why? Because a meerkat doesn't give up. A meerkat never gives up. Meerkats will go and fight right to the end. You're either with us or you're against us.